What's going on guys? Back in the office, you guys can see I got my hair cut. I actually cut my own hair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my hair was like, I mean, you guys saw my last couple of videos, my hair's getting out of control. So I had to just take matters into my own hands. Look how clean that is, super clean. So anyways, you know, that was the excitement for the week, but I did have an amazing week last week on the Jordan 1s, which is what you're seeing in the title. I was able to get like nine checkouts, eight men's pairs of Jordan 1s, and this one pair of GSs. And if you guys remember on my Instagram, I had posted this company. Let me find the information actually, because now I don't even know that how you... SVRN, and I was signing up for raffles, guys, back at the time. I showed this to you guys. SVRN. And then you can see down below the Jordan GS. This is a Royal Toe winner for the four youth. All right, so what this company did was they did a fundraiser for raffle uh, tickets. So when you're typically going into these raffles, people are too cheap to pay even $3. It was $3 per raffle and you could sign up for any size and as many you could get one ticket for each size i think you might have even been able to get multiple tickets depending on how much money essentially you wanted to donate towards raffle tickets but the raffle tickets were for gs sizes and men's sizes so i put in a 4 4.5 5 5.5 6 6.5 and 7 and then all the men's sizes and i ended up winning this pair right here as you can see it's Almost the same. I mean, the the toe box leather's not quite as nice on the GS. It's a little different. I'll have to check the black leather later. But bottom line is, comes with the extra laces, just like the men's pair. Same sole, same amazing smell. You gotta legit check your Jordans. When you get a new DS pair of Jordans, you need to know what that smells like. If you can't smell a Jordan 1, then you need to get your nose checked because it's extremely strong it's, and it's it's very similar when you get these out of the box. I do you want to show you highlight the uh, white leather because the white leather is the best leather on the shoe on the inside of the shoe for this pair and then on the outside you could see it's more like I'm noticing it's more of like a smooth out, outside so I don't know it's almost like it's a different leather. The inside has really soft, supple white leather. Look at the difference between that, guys. Comment if you can see that. It's like, it's it's night and day difference. So I'd assume that the other shoe's the same. Pull the other puppy out. So you guys are probably wondering the burning question, which I want to address with you guys. How do you get multiple pairs? And the truth is I don't usually get this many pairs that you see back up behind me. Not all of those are uh, Royal Toes and not all, some of the boxes are actually sitting over here. But you work, you put work in, you wanna learn something, you gotta take time to learn the game, whatever that is. So for Foot Locker, what was going on was um, you could check out manually. It was very difficult to get through for some people. Other people, it was a lot easier. For some reason you could get right in you add to cart, you go through the queue, there's like a couple queues, and that's the other thing. I think it was difficult. It was a difficult drop for botters, and so it allowed some manual users to come in and scoop up a bunch of pairs, like I, guys getting four, five, six, seven pairs in a row. Like I ended up getting like six checkouts in a row. It was amazing, and I've never you know sat there and spent that much money in a short period of time. I was just like, bam, bam, bam. It was, and I used the same PayPal address, the same information for all the orders. And I don't usually do that, but you know, that was how I was paying for shoes that day. I had a bunch of money sitting in my PayPal account. I wanted to spend that first and then go into my uh, debit or credit cards, whatever I was using. So that guys is how you make it. You just have to keep putting in effort over and over and over and over. And the more that you practice, the better that you become in anything. So Buying shoes is the exact same thing. The more understanding and knowledge you have and the more money you have to spend, the better. So you need to work on both of those two things. Number one, get more money to put into the business. 
And number two, get more knowledge and understanding and, and you know, get expertise from people. I'm willing to pay people to teach me. Um, almost anything I do, I would pay somebody to teach me just like immediately, like, look, I'll pay you a hundred dollars an hour to teach me something that you know that I want to know, because I know that's going to be super valuable in the future. So one way to do it is YouTube videos, watch my videos, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to some other channels. I think Keith Adams does a good job of teaching you where to get shoes, you know, as far as, you know, just understanding that it's a learning process and it's not something that you're going to learn one magic trick and that's going to be the main thing. There's no one trick. Everything is different for each different site and each drop can be different. So it's like one thing on sneakers could be the Travis Scott's, like these two pairs you see right here. And it could be, you know, the next shoe that comes out is a Jordan 1. And it's and they the way they set up the draw or the uh, release is different. By the way, this is a cool pair that I picked up. This is all reflective. So if you pull out a, you can kind of see it, but it's all reflective. If you take a picture with a flash or you pull out a flash, you could see the reflection. And there's a bunch of words on it. Respect, passion, lead, focus. It's pretty good. This is a nice shoe. And again, I, this was near dead stock. You could see there is a little bit of creasing. Probably can't even see it in the video. There's a tiny bit of creasing here. So back to the Jordan Royal toe. This is it, guys. This is the shoe. I was going to check the inside. Oh, man. So they used a, I think they used a different leather on the inside of this particular shoe. That's like, yeah. So the inside of this shoe is like really soft leather. But if you look at inside and outside of this one, it's like that smooth, cheaper leather. Definitely has a different feel. See how smooth that is? And then it could just be a different cut or a different piece, but look at that. It's, it's way softer if you feel it. You could just feel it, feel softer. You know, I'm not super thrilled about the quality on Jordan 1s in general. Like you see little pieces of, see that right there, sticking up um, on this one. Look at that. See that right by where, on, on where my chin's at on that, that little bit sticking off down here. Uh, you can't see it. Maybe you can see it this way. Yeah, there you go. See that? Look at that imperfection. I mean, they're just not, the quality is not that great. The stitching is, I mean, it's straight, right? But it could be better, it could be better. This should not be, should not be this huge piece sticking off of there, right? So anyways, you spend a hundred, a couple hundred bucks. People are paying me like 250 to $300 for pairs right now. So if you're in Pittsburgh, you do need a pair and you're one of my subscribers or followers, um, you know, I'll, I'll do a big discount for you. I don't need to be making a bunch of money off people that support me, but here's the bottom of the shoe. Give you a nice look at it. Kind of a look at the toe box shape of it it's a uh, pretty nice leather tongue um tongue tab actually it's, it's a nice leather so that's it guys hey i'll see you on the next one make sure to subscribe if you're new comment down below something it helps me it helps me out quite a bit um i do have some car stuff coming out i actually met will motivation today at a car meet he brought his lamborghini out there was a bunch of exotic cars and i brought my bmw out so it was uh it was a good time it was awesome to meet him he's a cool dude and uh, you know i can see why he's so successful he puts a lot of effort into his business and he's very consistent at what he does if i want to learn something about youtube i need to talk to people like that so he, you know super ins inspiring to meet this guy uh go check him out will motivation very easy to find him he's got you know a hundred thousand plus uh, subscribers so he's done well for himself on youtube and you know for you guys that aren't on youtube like actually putting out videos you don't recognize how hard it is to build it up like it, it takes really uh commitment and time and motivation as as he would say it so you know take that into consideration help me out any way you can comment subscribe share the video send it to somebody you know see you guys soon